Welcome to the Mean Green Show. Welcome to the Mean Green Show. Let's go. Welcome to the Mean Green Show. What's up, my people? Welcome to the Mean Green Show. Mean Green Show. It's your boy Chris. We have your boy Jared. And today we have Mr. Milk Tone. <laughs> what was that, dog? <laughs> I, you had to be thinking of your intro this whole time. No. Is that what you came up with? No, I didn't. <laughs> Milk Tone. Milk so tone. today uh, we have Milk Noir. So thank you for joining us. Oh, my pleasure, man. Um, the last seven to eight weeks has been an amazing experience. Uh, our subject title, Jared, is Disconnect. Disconnect. As simple as that. So. I know y'all see us. Some of us got our chest hairs out. You know. If you have them, Ooh. right? <laughs> Come on, bro. <laughs> 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 and then others is just ready to go, ready to mingle. But look, man, um, this podcast comes from Mexico. Yeah. Right? First time we've done um, a, a remote. podcast remotely in another state. Yeah. And country. Another country. Another country. I said another state. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Y'all have my back. They love me. <laughs> and we never know who's going to pop on. We're not the only three people here. No. We're a party of 10. Yeah. Party of 10. And if you're not here next time, I know that's what we're going to hear. <laughs> exactly. <potentially. laughs> but um, all right, let's, let's line this up and jump right into it. So we started off with the whole segment being called Is Your Scale Broke? Right, Jared? Yes, sir. And I think we tricked a couple of people when we did the first episode. Definitely. People were thinking, Milton, that we were going to actually be talking about the scale. And we were more so talking about the scale of life. Yeah. And, I mean, we went through different seasons, uh, not seasons, different ep- different episodes in the last X amount of weeks. And we touched on a lot of different things. With this one, disconnect. Yes, sir. Is that good or is it bad? Should you disconnect? Should you not disconnect? Um, I know I'm really flying these shades, but I got to take them off because I'm starting to sweat. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, no, look. Um First question I have, let's go straight to Milton. Milton, do you disconnect throughout the year? Ooh. Every opportunity I get. <laughs> every oppor- That's what I live life for, to, to be able to disconnect. More so just enjoy the fruits of my labor, you know. Um, that's what life's all about. Sometimes it's hard, though, because do I, do I really disconnect? I tend to always still have my phone in my hand. So, yeah. to an extent, I'm still connected to the matrix, so to speak. Right. But as far as um, getting out, enjoying the fruits of my labor, mm-hmm. spending quality time with um, my loved ones. I, that's a priority in life to me, man. Absolutely. What do you think is your disconnection? So do you, when you say you disconnect, do you disconnect when you're only going out the country or to another city, or do you disconnect uh, at home? And by the way, we have this uh, kind of like this. <laughs> right above you. Uh, so hopefully I enjoy today's music <laughs> brought to you from Tulum. <laughs> uh, right. a a Kumo. Location. A Location. Location. So, all right. Yeah. So, when you, wh- where do you disconnect, Melton? When do you disconnect, and all that sweet stuff? Oh man, like opportunities, like right now, unique, um, uniquely help me completely disconnect. Like literally, help me set my phone down, not worry about what's going on at the gym, not worry about anything. So this is this is when I feel like I, I genuinely can disconnect. Okay. Um, I try to disconnect. When, at night, um, but I still find myself working Absolutely. in the bed, even when I'm in the bed. Absolutely. But um, it's a work in progress, though, Absolutely. because I'm trying to, like, I've been enjoying you guys' podcast, man. Um, just balance, you know? Absolutely. Trying to have balance. Absolutely. What about you, Jay? Do you disconnect? Uh, I mean, I think we're all in the same boat. It's really hard to yeah. when we do what we do, yeah. right? So uh, I try to, but this, this, this trip will be the first time in a year where I actually just said I'm not doing – Anything. I'm just going to enjoy the trip. So, yeah. do I disconnect? Probably not. But, I, I, I mean, there have been a lot of people that told me, you need this. Right. You need I'm so happy you're taking this trip. Right. So, I mean. Do you believe in disconnection? Do you? Uh, I believe in it. I think it's just tough. Because yeah. it's kind of in the podcast we talked about when we said even when we're not working, like, even, you know, if we're on our phone, yeah. posting on Instagram, messaging somebody, doing something. Although that is work, yeah. it doesn't, If I mean. Hey, most people out here on they, you know, taking stuff on their Instagram anyway. It's yeah. just business for us. Yeah. So technically, we're working, but we're doing the same thing. Absolutely. So. And it's interesting because it, it seems like the world makes it difficult 
to disconnect. Yeah. Like yeah. now they have the little plastic bags that you can put around your phone where you can actually now <laughs> in water oh, yeah. and yep. you can easily touch the screen and and you know cuz to navigate typically when you wet your fingers it's kind of hard right to hit the icons but mm-hmm. now it's easily do it. you can take it underwater. So man it, it really is hard. Um, for me personally this trip has been eye opening because when we landed I had no Wi-Fi. That drive here, and it was not a short drive. Yeah. I had no connection, so I'm like, crap. <laughs> What's going on? And I'm going to answer the question I that I asked you, Milton, and that I asked Jared when it comes to do you believe in disconnection. I actually don't believe in disconnection. So we have two people, and that's what this show is about, right, to put our perspective out and – not that I listen to the answers and I want to go against it just so we can kind of go back and forth, but I actually don't believe in disconnection, and I want to dive into those things. So typically I ask a question to whoever the guest is or Jared. Today I, I'm going I'm to I'm pass it to Milton. Just like It's not his first time on a podcast, no. but I'm going to throw it right to Milton. Milton, what questions do you have? Ask me or Jared a question when we, sh- when, we, when we hear it. So what do you have? When you hear hearing what Jared said, hearing what I just said, what question do you have for me or Jared? Or what do you want to put out there and we discuss? Yeah, I'll throw you to the wolves. I don't care. Well, <laughs> let's start by what you just said. Like, why don't you – why do you not feel like it's um, – you believe in disconnecting? You know, why, why – like, you don't see the health value in that or – Great question. Like, I absolutely see it being healthy to not stress or to build anxiety or any other mindset that puts you in a bad predicament, your health, right? Obviously, uh, those things are huge. But being connected doesn't mean you're going to be stressed out, right? I believe if you have the correct systems in place, you're still connected, right? Mm -hmm. Think about it. Like uh, Mark, I'm I'm acting like I know his by the first name because we're that cool, but the guy that owns Facebook, Instagram, I bet he disconnects. Yeah. But he has so many systems, he's actually not disconnected. So I think whenever you have a service or a product that's still connected and is still moving, I believe we're connected. Mm -hmm. But personally, I can step away because I'm prepared. So the example, right now I am not in Houston, Texas. But right now the gyms and boot camps are still going on. The online training is going on. So I am still connected. Mean Green is there. But am I personally there no if i didn't have those systems i wouldn't be here though yeah because i didn't create a system to be in the position that i'm in now so i believe sometimes people yeah i know i'm I'm ready for these inboxes (laughs) i believe sometimes people just take so many breaks like oh i need to disconnect i need this i need this and they're not in a position to take a break yeah. If if Jared was to ask me the second month when he moved down and was like, yo, I got my first boot camper to sign up. Oh, there's my second one. Okay, I'm going to take a break this next eight days. I'm going to go to Mexico. I'll be like, hey, bro, like you're going to stop all your momentum. Yeah. So I think it really depends where you're at and what you create. So, again, that works for Chris. I'm not saying that works for everybody because I can see that bringing somebody anxiety. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, crap. But it doesn't bring me anxiety because I have Alex at home right now. I have Jason Miller at home. We have Bobby at home. We have Harmony at home. So I am not stressed out because I know Mean Green is still rolling. So that's my answer to your question. I got you. I, I, I kind of – I guess one of the – to add to it, so you said you don't – where was I going with this question? I kind of lost myself. But I, uh, I, I was thinking whenever you said the the disconnect part of it, for you, you said you don't believe in disconnecting. How do you feel about – we talked about family. Mm-hmm. We had Tino on. We talked about relationship things. When you're not connected enough to that, do you yeah. feel like you need to disconnect a little bit more from work to give to that? Or because we're talking about balance. So just just my question to you married men, actually. Because <laughs> you're married, too. Do you yeah. ever feel like you're, you're too connected to work and not giving enough to home, uh, home and life? I, Ab- de- I Ab- definitely have an answer, but I want you to go first. Absolutely. Absolutely. I mean, because, again, I like even with the social media thing, you mm-hmm. know, when you're at home, we're having conversations yeah. and, 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 and one of her love languages is just spending time and 
putting everything away Shout and out just to Lizzie, boo. looking at her while yeah. I'm talking. Yeah. I can hold a full conversation and edit a video at the same yeah. time and be engaging. But with her, she's like, no. So, yeah, I most definitely need to do that. You know what I mean? Because I know it's important to her. Yeah. I know it's important to her. So, to that end, that, that's my view of disconnecting. Like, look, I'm going to put this to the side for a minute, focus on her, give her the attention she needs, and then... Yeah. Yeah. So most definitely, I got. I, I'm. I'm a work in progress. Though, I got you. Because yeah. I enjoy yeah. videoing. I enjoy editing. That's something that's fun to me. So. Yeah. Yeah. And you've been able to do it a little bit still today. I mean, yeah. throughout the trip. Um, oh yeah. You know, you've been active on social media, uh, and your his clips actually made me get out the bed earlier than what I did. Because I was really? like, man, he out to get <laughs> He moving. I, I posted a video yeah. as well. Um, to answer your question, Jerry, for myself, it was important for me to show Tina that I am disconnected, mm -hmm. but I'm not. I am not disconnected. I'm, I've made, I think I made a hell of a deal yesterday on something that I've been working on, and I'm extremely happy to continue to grow in that project, but Tina didn't know. Yeah. And it was because I wasn't there. I wasn't on the phone. I right. wasn't, like, it literally was a text message. Within three minutes, I was done with it. Yeah. And then I was able, because of the hard work that had been played, Play, uh, placed in the last decade, I had somebody that can take over that project. So I was able to make a call and say, hey, can you take care of A, B, C? And they was like, cool, I got you. Enjoy your trip. So I actually made some great things take place, but I am disconnected. But Tina have no idea what I've done because I haven't been talking mean green with her. Yeah. I, haven't, I haven't been talking ministry with her. It's just been about this trip, and I'm still engaged. But, again, it's not – I'm not stressed about it. Yeah. I'm not uptight. Like, I'm chilling. I got, what are these strings called? Ooh. If you would have asked me at the beginning, Kaepernika, something like that. <laughs> Kaepernika. <laughs> My boy LB got me on these. But I'm able to sip on these and have a great time. So I feel like I'm still connected, though. So I know y'all like, this, Chris, hold on. Yeah. I want you to say you're disconnected. <laughs> I'm not. I'm still dialed in. <laughs> all right. That's what, all good. What else you got, Milton? Or do I pass it to Jared? Well, Jared just nice asked, like, how do you feel about that? Like, to, to answer your own question, like, I mean, uh, I'm kind, I'm kind of in your your shoes. I know uh, I've talked about it on the podcast before, where I'll work all day, get home, be on my phone, texting people, yeah. still working, and I can literally feel eyes on me and my phone. Yeah. So I know that there are times where I need to set the phone down and disconnect during, like, you know, the regular work week. Yeah. But for for trips like this, I do think I think it's important. But what you said, like yeah. I, I have, you know, received a couple of work text messages and stuff like that, and responded to them. Yeah. Uh, so if somebody hits me, I'm here. I'm available. I'm yeah. not just like, that, totally. Yeah, the world cut off. But yeah. I do think it's important for for even us. Like yeah. I, I, I kind of told myself when we got out here. Yeah, we're probably gonna, you know, talk a little work, but let's. Do this have fun. Yeah, just disconnect. Let's, kick let's it. focus on trying to kick it. So I love it. You and know what's funny about that? When we were in the pool, correct me if I'm wrong, Milton. And I won't call you the family name on podcast. <laughs> I'm trying not. It, it almost kind of. It's okay. Okay. So I never mentioned Mean Green to you yesterday, or you didn't. Mm -hmm. But it came out because when you meet people, generally, what do you do for a living? Yeah. Or hey, man, you look kind of fit. Where do you work out at? And it, it always come. It always comes up because I am my lifestyle. That's what yeah. I do. But um, you know, even connecting with people that potentially can be. A, ro a place on your roadmap in the future. That was cool to kind of meet the gentleman that we met. Oh, yeah. Like, very, I'm actually reach out. Very interesting yeah. guy. Yeah. And, I mean, he, like, this, one of the stories he was telling us goes into exactly what we're talking about because he's, you know, property owner, has, mm -hmm. like, 30 homes. And he's just, like, he says he wakes up, like, 2, 3 in the morning, and he's thinking about how he needs to do designs on the bedrooms, like yeah. what type of – tapestry they're going to use yeah. in the middle of the night you know yeah like what's going to longevity like yeah. that's what I he's thinking it. about Absolutely. that way you know he says what he wife asked him what is he thinking about and he broke down all this <laughs> <laughs> she ain't asked no more huh? <laughs> she ain't asked no more you know that's an interesting train of thought jared name somebody you think is super successful we're going to go four people super name successful one. super successful in any industry the rock Dwayne the rock. rock johnson what about you melvin um uh, the guy that owns Amazon. Um, Bezos. Yeah. Yeah. Give me another one. Uh, another one. Uh, 
Facebook. I'm thinking Mark. Mark, yeah. That's my boy. Holler at me, Mark. We need a sponsor. Guy right. who wants Tesla. Tesla. Okay, cool. Oof. I think he ain't a lawsuit, but it's yeah. cool. Um, <laughs> he got yeah. mine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but, okay, we'll talk about it. Uh, we'll talk about it later. Um, all four of those people, do they disconnect? Like, it, hold on, let me ask the question again. If you ask them, hey, you found success, Dwayne Johnson. Hmm? Johnson. Um, when, how many times do you disconnect? Or before you was known as The Rock, how many times did you disconnect? What do you think the answers would be? Um, it, they probably lines up with what you said, honestly, because they have so many people in place to do so much for them. So to an extent, they're probably never disconnected. Absolutely. Like, I, y'all seen the show on Kevin Hart? Yeah. On Netflix? Hey, he's a monster, man. Monster? He's a monster. I've seen What? You but, like, even Brian? following him on, on Instagram, he's always working. Working. Like, even when he's having fun, he's working. He's marketing something. Every video. Man. Okay. I, I, I watched the uh, Kanye. I saw the thing on Kanye. Another one, right? Oof. Another one, right? <laughs> You're talking about effort. Effort. So, okay. Again, I want to rewind this in. When it comes to your health, and you're in a bad position or predicament because you're not having that absence that you need, definitely disconnect. Yeah. But I want to talk, my perspective is when it's not unhealthy. It's not unhealthy to Kevin Hart potentially because he's doing what he freaking loves to do. do, right? Same thing for The Rock and whoever found success, right, in the industry that they want to do. So I'm, I'm relating to that, okay? So I know it's coming. I know it's coming, Jared. All right. Here's the magic question, because I'm coming from a guy that's been training for X amount of years as an athlete Mm -hmm. and as a coach and now as a fitness enthusiast. Same thing for Milton. Over, what, 10 years of coaching and training, probably 15 to 20 going on there. 20 now. Um, 20, yeah, ish. The question I have for you is for our members, for the people that we train or people we don't even train and they Mm -hmm. just work out, do they disconnect from working out? Yeah, sometimes. Okay. Well, that's a that's an interesting point. So the, you say yes. The people that are successful at working out do not disconnect. Okay, so that's the question. Yeah. So if the somebody people that have trouble finding success, they disconnect quite often. Okay, let's let's rewind. <laughs> We're gonna do it two times, okay. one round, then two rounds. Okay. Do you disconnect from working out? No. Do you disconnect from working out? I change. Do do I disconnect when I'm hurt? All right. So that's the first round. But besides being hurt, I'm consistent. Second round, if somebody was to train with you or a group, do you tell them to disconnect from working out? No, I don't. Do you tell them? No. <sighs> I don't either. So I would love to dive into that because I do believe we're creatures of habitat. The way you do one thing is the way you do most things. You notice how we kind of like, uh, like, okay, we'll, we'll disconnect, but we still got it going when it comes to career. Mm-hmm. Now let's talk about, and we said a little bit about family, but I'm sure we can tie in family mm-hmm. in a little bit. But now let's talk about with the people that we train in the way that we work out. True story, I've worked out every day. I haven't worked out yet, but I worked out every day I've been here. Crazy, right? Right. Now, it wasn't the workout y'all did at the gym or at boot camp, <laughs> but it was a workout for me, yeah. right? I just seen Tina do water aerobics with Brittany, and that was a workout for her. Mm-hmm. Um, Jared, let's start with you. Why is it important not to disconnect? Because, let me say this before From you answer yours. or in general? J- working out. Okay. Let me say this. D- disconnecting by Milton, Jared, and myself doesn't mean you you never miss a day of working out. Mm. So make sure you hear that. We're just saying disconnect from your fitness journey. Jared, after hearing everything, why would you – let's start with yourself personally. Why do you not disconnect from working out? So I, I'm going a, I'm to a use you as an example here because okay. I like to talk about this. You have goals as a fitness enthusiast, right? Mm-hmm. Are you reaching those goals right now? I am, yes. Cool. Like right now at, at this very moment. What, what we're doing, podcast. Yeah, absolutely. I am. Exactly. Are you work you, when you do the beast mode games? Are you working towards a goal? You reach out there? Absolutely. Are you working harder at this current moment or when you're getting ready for the beast mode games? Beast mode games. Okay. So you have a season yeah. at which you think you work hardest. Right now, you're still working, but you're not working That's hard. at that level. I do believe in that when it comes to fitness. I like so that. So there are going to be times where you guys, now, heck, maybe you're getting ready for a trip. Maybe you're doing something where you're. I know, I know people that will change their routine, do two-a-days, do yeah. X, Y, Z, things that are more aggressive towards the body. Yeah. Um, and I kind of relate it to football season, and this is why I said I change. Yeah. During football season, we do what's called maintenance lifts during mm-hmm. the season. We just don't want to get hurt. Off-season, we go crazy. That's we're, good. we're lifting heavy. We're beating the body up. We're doing all kinds of things, and I feel like it's the same way with fitness. So that's why I tell my – when it comes to uh, training, 
Maybe they have a goal of getting stronger. Okay, we're going to go through a cycle of getting stronger. I love that. Then let's go through a cycle of body recovery. Let's I love that. So it's just different cycles. One, it keeps you engaged. Two, I, I just you shouldn't break when it comes to when you're trying to get to your goals. Always continue to get to your goals, mm -hmm. but you can change up the way you're trying to get there. I love if that. that makes sense. Well That's said. Good. Well said. So, good. hey, down below, I know a lot of people watching this live, like Ooh, ain't in no the, ice in, in this drink. And mine is, <laughs> let, let's try to get somebody. Um, down below, as we're trying to uh, chase somebody down, do you agree with change in your fitness journey? Do you agree with Jared <laughs> said? Or better yet, <laughs> would you like to incorporate what Jared just said? I'm curious because when I go back and see those comments, yeah. like, man, it's so cool to see people engaged. Milton. Disconnect. Uh, you said that you don't disconnect from fitness journey personally. Mm -hmm. What does that look like for you? I look forward to actually working out when I go on trips like this. He was this. up at like 6 in the morning, y'all. I look forward to it. I look forward I, I to it. I am not lying. Especially if you're in a beautiful place like this. I look forward to exploring it. How are you up at 6, though? I mean, we went to bed at 12. Six hours. Six yeah. hours. All I, need I woke it. up at 7 today. Yeah? Hey, yeah. And I, we didn't, I think I slept. Two hours yeah. all day yesterday. Yeah. Really? It's all you needed was that, that jump start. Because you already third, got that natural. I yeah. woke up at 9. <laughs> Look at Brittany and Tina. What are they doing? Living life. Maybe that. Maybe that's our Cap Capritino. So Cap Caprino. My, 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 okay. Yeah. We're going to get them. I don't want to holler on the mic. Tina. <laughs> God, God, hey, God. I, Tina. Brittany. Tina. We need a drink. We need a, another drink. She just mean, y'all. <laughs> she mean. She, we put the mic on her. She Look, be that mean. I tried to tell y'all. Y'all didn't listen. Okay. You're right. You're right. Okay, I'm going back. So, Milton, um, did you finish? No, I didn't. Um, no, I uh, disconnecting um, when we're on a, um, from working out. Because if I, if I start disconnecting, one day turns into one week, one week turns into one month. Yeah. You know, and um, – I don't like the feeling of starting over. Even though Damn. I do go through seasons, like football season is rough for me because every weekend we're hanging out, we're kicking so. it. You're putting more clothes on, so I'm feeling a little bit more comfortable, you know, covering it's up. Colder. yeah. Um, just, you know, most of covering up my body. Like, uh, I'm not taking my shirt off, you know what I mean? Right. Like, so just having That's those real. mental games in my own mind. Yeah. Because one thing about working out at the gym, uh, working at the gym sometimes when you're putting, when you're, it's almost like working in a restaurant. When you're cooking a lot, you don't necessarily always be hungry. Right. When you're working out or uh, training a lot, you don't necessarily always feel like mm -hmm. working out. You yeah. know what I mean? Right. But um, I guess the way that another reason I don't disconnect from it is because, again, once one week turns to one month, um, on the second thing is, like, it, I feel comfortable being able to have a few drinks, being able to eat some French fries because yeah. I know, hey, look, I'm going to get up. I'm going to work out. I'm going to bust yeah. my butt. I'm going to do some cardio. Yeah. And it just makes me balance it out That's mentally. Well you know what I mean? Well so. Said. And then when we when the vacation's over, the high is down from shredding or whatever it is. Yeah. It's easier to keep that routine going. Yeah, absolutely. You know? I love it. I do uh, want to ask a question off what he said, and I want to ask you guys this okay. uh, because what you said I think makes a lot of sense. So he said, when you know, whenever you're on a trip, one week turns one turns into one month, one month turns into mm -hmm. two months, whatever it might be, and then when you get back, you feel like you're starting over again. And I hear so many people say that, Word. Yeah. like, oh, I took a week off. Man, if this feels like day one. Yeah. Man, this feels like X, Y, Z. I want everybody to remember your first day <laughs> and how hard it was what? and how you were looking at everybody that was killing it, like, what? dang, I wish I was there. Mm -hmm. And my right. question to you when it comes to this connection, knowing that if you take a week off or two weeks off, like, how that feels, is it worth it? Yeah, man. That's, that's, that's the good. question. That's I hate a good point. Over. That's I a good it. point. That soreness of, <laughs> of that first workout back, you know what I mean? Yeah. Especially if you start on a Wednesday or Saturday at Oof. the gym or boot camp. It's, it's rough. Yeah. Like, you don't want to go through that again. Um, mine was because of injury. Mm -hmm. That's why I don't want to disconnect. I've been very transparent mm -hmm. about my back. If I take workouts off or days off or weeks off, like, my body literally gets, like, like tight. tight. And then I go out and say, oh, I want to play sand volleyball. <laughs> or, hey, I'm going to go swimming. Or, hey, I'm going to take a jump shot with my basketball, mm -hmm. uh, excuse me, with my boys playing basketball. And that spurt of a movement, because my body hasn't been conditioned for weeks to work on or to prevent, um, I'm, gonna I'm not firing off correctly. So instead of using my hamstring or my glute to push off, I might actually use my back or, or something else I shouldn't be using. So Correct. that's why it's important for me not to take any days off. Mm -hmm. But remember, what Jared said is not 
burpees and thrusters every time you work out. A workout for me may be opposite reaches, three yeah. sets of ten, or getting some bands while I'm watching TV, mm-hmm. doing uh, what are these called when you sit down? Clams. Clams. Clam shells. Call it clam shells. Um, I was so gonna say, what is that noise? We, we're getting a little. Oh, this, is, this is our daily. This is our daily, daily um, shower. Oh, where is my bag? Daily rain shower. But th- look at this, dog. I, I, I don't know if you guys can actually see the rain, but look how be- like people just not even moving. They just sitting in the rain and they cheers. Tina, Tina, and Britt at the bar in the water. I got my beats in there. I hope it's covered. D. Crite, look at D. Crite and them over there playing volleyball. Playing they still set, playing. Play, playing beach volleyball. What is it? Water, water volleyball, volleyball in the rain. In the rain. Got to love it. In the rain. So, I think disconnect right here is the reason why I disconnect from being in a different city. It's because I can see that. Like, Tina ain't, you know, she ain't tripping right now. Like, she having a good time. She ain't bringing my drink. <laughs> she didn't do that. She She's did. still mean to me. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? But, man, this is too cool. Too cool. That's Liz. Liz over there playing volleyball, too. So, okay. Nah, this is this is, this is is my idea of disconnect. Yeah, and the range time. That fast. That, that fast. That fast. <laughs> All right, let's pivot right into that then. What are you willing to do? I'm going to ask them first, and then you guys. We'll okay. go Jared Milton. Mm-hmm. What are you willing to do? now to be able to disconnect from a place where you're still being productive as i mentioned i believe we're still productive jared said this um be small games versus online training versus working from your phone versus sending text messages to sign somebody up even though we're connected it didn't start that way yeah right but what are you willing to do to get to that position um who's that ah we're gonna get them on those are the Saunders, guys. Those are the Saunders. <laughs> but um, what are you willing – okay, let's first talk about that with Jared. And then, Jared, I'm going to just walk you through these questions. Okay. Jared, uh, prior to getting with Mean Green or I'm going to say the fitness industry, uh, were you able to do this? This? Yeah, I'm going to dig into you. Just quick answers. Oh, no. No, why? Uh, the finan- I just wasn't able to. Because? F- financially, I wasn't able fin- to. Financially, was there anything else? Uh. Yeah, I didn't have my career set out. I didn't know where I was going. Perfect. Anything else? And it might not be something. I'm just going. I'm digging. I mean, those are the main two that I can think of on top of my head. Perfect. What about you, Milton? Before um, uh, let's, I was Let's up. talk. Graduate from high school or college. Uh, were you able to take off five days? Oh, look at you, Tina, y'all. Ooh. Ooh. She Ooh. heard us. <laughs> she heard us. She got them arms. Thank arm. you, Tina. She been working. <laughs> She got them arms out. She got them. I love che- how you called it she out. She got them cheeks out. See, we're praising. We're praising. Thank you, Tina. Thank you, Tina. Thank you, ma'am. Uh, thank you, sir. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, you want to <laughs> say hi to everybody? <laughs> That's <laughs> a hand. <laughs> oh, let me, hold on. Hold on, guys. Hold on. That's decent. What are we doing? A salute? Salute. Oh, yeah. Salute. There salute. it is. Salute. Oh, we got salute to them. Salute, guys. Salute. Salute. There salute. Salute. <laughs> uh, all right. Y'all better not be drinking this though, y'all. <laughs> y'all better be drinking some water right now. Not on your uh, trip. <laughs> all right, Milton. So, yeah, going back to when you first got into uh, making money for yourself. I've, yes. This is like something that I've always prioritized. Okay. So, but remember the question. Yeah. Was you able to do this right when you started working? Yeah. Cool. How was you able to do it? Because uh, I've always worked. Okay. I've always, like. Since I was fifth grade, I was cutting yards. You know what sure. I mean. So I've always one thing about being the older sibling, and having like a lot this. of younger one. Mm. I've always had a desire to make my own money because I, you know my our dad, his stories. He's like I was roofing houses when I was eight years old, driving when I was fourteen. <laughs> so with that mind state, I've always had money or went out and made money yeah. so i've always been able to do something and one of my dreams was actually to be in a place like this because you know our vacations used to be yeah. um I've never galveston yeah you know what i mean and nothing I, wrong with galveston for those that go yeah galveston's cool we we we, we go there we go there uh, quite often like when we just need a quick getaway yeah. we don't get in the water but <laughs> we'll go to one of Why those not? nice hotels and stay at, at, at the resort cuts. but um like, this was always a dream of mine to go somewhere where the water was blue. Mm-hmm. So, growing up as a kid, that was one of my goals. So, as soon as I made enough money in college, I went to Jamaica. To I love it. It was a priority for me, you know. So, I, I prefer, like. So, you I, went to Jamaica. How old were you? 
I was maybe about 23, 24 nice. for my first time I went. I didn't go. I didn't get out of the country. I was in my 30s. Yeah. yeah I was working and at Papa's. That Papa. was my first trip. I was working at yeah. Papa's. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. when you went to Jamaica? Yeah, that was my first time. The first when time? I, my honeymoon. Oh, wow. My honeymoon. Yeah. So I guess for me, eight, 18, graduation. My mom oh. helped me come to Cancun, actually. So Mama. Right down the road. Yeah. What's up? So I, I think personally I've always had the desire to – go back yeah like once i made money so mm-hmm. honestly this is like the rounding out my first year yeah and we're back full circle actually it's pretty cool because my back, first baby. full year working and then like you know full time as an employee and then boom i'm back back in mexico back in mexico hey 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 <laughs> all right that's not this drink guys um <laughs> no that, that's so cool to hear man because for me i'm different from elton because i'm i'm the baby boy of the family i'm the second to the youngest and Dang, it's gonna sound really bad. I didn't, I didn't have the, I didn't have a desire to work. No, you didn't. Um, <laughs> I didn't have a desire to work, but I never really asked for anything, you know. So I never really wanted to travel. I just wanted my basketball. Mm-hmm. <laughs> just let me go hoop, you know. Yeah. Uh, so for me, but when I start dating, I think that's when I start getting the desire to actually make money because, um, we good. Yeah. I never wanted to. And I'll share this moment in the future um, going out for Valentine's Day, but I never wanted to have that feeling again to go out and not be able to pay for a meal. Mm. You know, so that was like the spark where it was like, all right, bro, your jump shot's just it's not that good. <laughs> so right now, either you need to really find some favor and get into this lead or start making some money. But with all that being said, the reason why I asked all three of us the same question was because I think – our three different routes, we have to kind of see where we're at right now in life. And I want to talk fitness, mm-hmm. not money. I use our career as an example. Yay, yay. <laughs> oh, they're doing guacamole. They're making guacamole they're, they're over making there, guacamole. yeah. So um, I'm using our career as an example. But, yeah. man, what are people willing to do for their body and for their health right now? Because the thing is, I, I see a lot of people disconnect and take so many breaks because it's difficult, mm-hmm. because it's challenging, because mm-hmm. you don't understand, because mm. somebody's not to your left and right doing it with you. Yeah. But, man, every one of our stories are so different, and I think it was because for some had a desire. Like yeah. Your desire was, man, I've I, I seen this before. Yeah. I want to come back again. Milton from early on was like, yo, that's a dream. You yeah. know what I mean? So your work habits have been – really great towards being here Mm -hmm. but what are people doing you think and i'm asking this question why let's say that one chris why do you think people use the term disconnect when it's actually not disconnecting it's procrastination just think about it when somebody says i'm not working out until three months prior to my birthday is that really just disconnecting because you need a break from working out, or is that procrastination? It's procrastination. It's a little sure. bit of lazy. It's a little bit of um, the mindset. Their mindset is not mm. not mm. really in it for the long term. Because mm. if you're just doing it for your, your birthday, chances are after your birthday you're going to stop. Yeah. Mm. Um, I like that. I, I also personally think it's all in the – just. I know we kind of talked about the way that you talk to yourself. Yeah, it's weird. So it's one of those things. If you tell yourself you're procrastinating, you're putting a, a negative connotation mm. on what it is you're doing. If you tell yourself you're disconnecting, that sounds positive. Like, oh, yeah. I'm just disconnecting. That sounds healthy because it's, yeah. we've been taught that it's healthy to disconnect, yeah. especially in this modern era of social media where everybody's connected. Absolutely. I think we all sim- – you know, connect it to that, cool. assimilate to, oh, I need to disconnect from social media or television or um, – yeah. Because we're, 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 what we're saying when we disconnect, we're, we're saying that we're going to do it again. We're just yeah. taking a break from it. Yeah. So, like, I just disconnected disconnected from alcohol and, and sweets for the last month and a half to get ready for this trip. Yeah. Tri- but I ate some French toast this morning. <laughs> I, did, I, did. Okay. I ate a, you know, a cinnamon roll this morning. Yeah. It, I'm reconnected. How was the French toast? Was the French toast good? The French toast was amazing. It was amazing. Okay. I'm going to so, try that. I'm so reconnected. What, what, I like what, what you just said. I think we should jump into that. That okay. might be a whole episode. Oh. And if it is, let's cut it off and not use it now. Oh. You said, and correct me if I'm wrong, okay. and y'all can zoom up on Jared on the camera if we need to. You said people talk out loud to tell themselves something that they 
wanting here to justify what they want to do. Mm. Yeah. Did you just say that? Yeah. Absolutely. So instead of saying I'm disconnecting, because that's a instead of saying I'm pre- procrastinating, yeah. it's, it's I'm disconnecting. Yeah. But they really procrastinate. Yeah. Because yeah. there's a difference. Yeah. Procrastination. You're putting it off. Yeah. Procrastination means I don't want to do this because of X, Y, Z. Yeah. Disconnecting is saying I'm disconnecting. I'm coming back, but I have to cut this off right now. Yeah. That's a difference. Yeah. yeah. Big so difference. So going back to our career, we disconnect because it's healthy for us to spend time with our loved ones. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Right. We're not making an excuse to spend time. Yeah. Right? It's not That's like, oh, I got all this work to do, but let me go and. No. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. So now let's let's jump into that a little bit. What do y'all think? Do you – not people that we train. Let's start with us because I really believe that transparency is everything. Mm-hmm. Have you ever called – and if you need me to go first, I will. Have you ever said something with something because it was the thing that people used as a term versus what you really was – Dealing with man, yes. I, I, I'm gonna go ahead and get it started. Go. I'm go throwing ahead. myself under the bus. Everybody always says, either your work, you need to rest. Okay. Right. Okay. You need to rest. Okay. So I found myself at times not getting certain things done. Mm. And blank. Ah, it's alright. I need to sleep. Mm-hmm. Mm. Ah, it's okay. I need to sleep. Mm-hmm. I decided I need to rest because of what I've heard outside of me. So that kind of that's that, that's that line. Am I not getting it done? Am I making an excuse? Oh, I need to rest, or is it like like the disconnect? That's like, real. Like so, I I tell myself to make myself feel better. It's just, I just needed to sleep. That's right. I just needed to rest. Oh. So I mean that to me, I think that's kind of along the same lines. It to me, it, you know, you ever that, heard that, that song? That was good. So it's a thin line yeah. between love and hate. What do you it's know about that, y'all? <laughs> what do you know about that? I think it's the exact same thing there. I think it's a thin line between mm. disconnect procrastination as that's far real. as oh, which real. way you flow. Y'all comment down below. Have y'all done that? Okay, I'm going to share mine then since okay. you shared yours. You was honest. So I'm going to be honest about something. I got you. Um, whenever I mess up, because I do mess up, it can be right in the workout programming it one way and then get on the video and say it differently mm-hmm. i've done that frequently mm-hmm. um not remembering something to do in my household it might be picking up something on the way home right or l- forgetting the, the sd cards going to church <laughs> like I, i've done it all and this is mine people say you work so hard you just need a break no 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 no, no. <laughs> let me clear it up I just forgot, y'all. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah. I, was, I was multitasking when I was doing the, you know, the uh, the, the call, and, and and I forgot the SD cards. Or yeah, you know what? When I did the video, I actually wrote the workout out, and then when I got on camera, I said it out loud, and then I liked the way <laughs> that it sounded when it came out of <laughs> my mouth because it made more sense. Right. Yeah. So I just forgot to go back in and edit it in the computer. Yeah. So again, I will use things. Because people give me a pass. He just works so hard. No, I just I just effed up. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. At the end of the day. So But sometimes you take that what do you call it? I don't know. When when somebody hypes you up. Yeah. What do you whatever that is. It's, you, uh, you take it. What is it called? Crap. Yeah, I can't think of the that, name. Sorry, y'all. Okay. If you know comment below. Yeah, comment. But, uh, <laughs> so, yeah, that's real. You got one, Milton? He, oh. per- he perfect, y'all. No, no. Far from. Man, I I procrastinate. Um when it comes to doing certain things, just like paperwork or Hallelujah. when I was in school, <laughs> homework or assignments or so those are some of the things that I do like well, not well, disconnecting. What, from is, what excuse would you use that people will allow you to get away with? I don't know. I mean, I don't really I just usually just be like, I got one for you. Well, you tell me. What do you think? So in the house, in the Greens house, Milton's just so nice, dog. That, like, is, that is true. He, Milton, mama could be like. Milton can, I ain't going to say nothing he did, but Milton can do something, and it can be bad. And then he'd be like, man, he's just all boy. He's just a good kid. Like, <laughs> let him make it. He's just a good guy. Like, everybody knows Milton is a good guy, so yeah. when he does something, it's uh, yeah. just like. That's true. So, uh, I get the benefit of the doubt a lot. He's just a good guy. I do yeah. get the benefit of the doubt a lot. And he comes in with a smile. You, what are you going to do? Yeah. That's, that's, that's real. He's just a good guy. Okay. That's, like, I couldn't think of nothing, but, yeah. I get a pass with that. Yeah. yeah. A lot, I would a lot of it different things so that's the that's the that's the thing we, we point out right now mm-hmm. yeah. right we, we used us as an example but yeah. it's the I same thing for all of us yeah yeah like what do you do that you use because people give you that crutch yeah and um i think there is a disconnection on that 
I, I love what he just said. LB, though. we going at it. We going in. My boy <laughs> LB, my boy LB in Mexico. I got a headset just in case he jumped in. <laughs> I got another one. What did you nah, gonna say? I was saying I love what Milton was saying uh, as far as uh, benefit of the doubt. Uh, one thing that we talked about when we were coaching, mm. um, like you can. What are you, what are you getting? Man, don't don't go on. What are you getting? Don't, don't, don't get him for the banana. Oh, he going for the banana. <laughs> 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 I don't even know hey, what this dude. Y'all hey, see me like hey, this? Grab, grab the banana and everything. We talking about a bird, y'all. It came and got the banana. Or it touched it. It touched it. It's coming back. He gonna come back. He's coming he back. back. He getting that banana, dog. He about to taste look, it. Now look, watch. Look, 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 look. Hey, hey, hey. You gonna get it? You gonna get it? Shoot. Oh man! All right, there you go. Uh, cool. But nah. Uh, so uh, as far as benefit of the doubt is concerned, like I said, when we uh, we're coaching. You can only coach an athlete up so much, right? Mm -hmm. And one of the things we always told the athletes, like, listen, we're gonna tell you what to do. We're gonna, you know, give you the the blueprint. You can tell us all you want. You can come in front of us and do all you want, yeah. say all you want, but yeah. you can't lie to the man in the mirror. Mm. And I feel like that's what it boils down to mm. when it comes to this scenario, like. Mm. You can give yourself the benefit of the doubt and, you know, say what everybody else is saying. But if you, you know, if you truly working as hard as you're supposed to be working, then, yeah, it's okay to be like, okay, this break is okay. Yeah. If you were, let's call it what it is, if you were half-assing yeah. and then took that break, oh, she brought the coke in that job. come on, Key. <laughs> give, give it to him. She brought the coke in that job. Give it to him. Thank em. you so much. Oh, she nice. Look I at got the coke in that job. This is how we living. This is how we living. This is how we living. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, but no, I was saying if you truly are working as hard as you are, mm -hmm. are supposed to, mm -hmm. and in your own head, and you and you take that break, cool. But if you're not, you have fast, and then you take that break, and then you're like, oh, I'm gonna do what everybody else said. Yeah, also cool. But again, you can't lie to the man in the mirror. That's so real. you 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 know if you worked as hard as you're supposed to to take that break or not. That's right. So I, I think that's what it boils down to with that line. I love it. I love it. I, love it. I think I love everything we just put out there because. Hmm. I, I called myself out on that. That's good. It's good. What That's is good. it? I don't know. You don't know. Uh, you, it's you a ever, coconut. You ever had uh, oh, the ocean water slush from Papa Sonic? No. -uh. It tastes kind of like that without the, the Sprite. Okay. Mm. okay. Blue coconut. Okay. I might have to indulge. Okay. Y'all watch Jared's Instagram story. <laughs> <in this hour. laughs> we'll see how, we'll see how good <laughs> it is. But, um, no, I mean, to, to bring that up again, and then we'll, we'll kind of do some final statements and get out of here. Um, there, There is a a truth to disconnection. Okay, I know I started the podcast off with trying to be, you know, go against the grain a little bit. Right. But there, there is a term where it is healthy dis to disconnect when it brings you and puts you in a certain unhealthy position. Mm -hmm. But when you do disconnect, make sure you're using the term disconnection for what it is. Yeah. Not for a cover up yeah. to get away with procrastination, procrastination. Yeah. or um, being lazy or using excuses or whatever it may be. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know what else is pretty cool? I love when these people are walking by and they thinking I like know. they're like, just looking at us. <laughs> they're like, what are they doing? We, like, might, we might be celebrities here, y'all. Yeah. <laughs> we already <laughs> kind of celebrities. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. If people we already pulling us to the side. Like, what are y'all here for? <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> I do want to say so. All right, what you got? I had. I, we had no idea that this podcast was headed this direction. No. Like, I, I like where we ended where we, up with this. Yeah. Like, talking about people fake disconnecting almost. Mm -hmm. Like, I think we just know the title. I, I, was like, I love the, the, the unscripted just mm -hmm. talk. Absolutely. Like, I, lo I love how it ended up here. So, for me, like, I'm just like, I, I wasn't even thinking about that whenever we came up with this topic, whenever we started talking about this topic. Yeah. I wasn't even thinking about that. So, I, I, I just think I it's think cool. I think it's so. It's funny because Milton, I don't know if Milton, I think Milton knew he was going to be on this episode, mm -hmm. but didn't know. Yeah. It was like, he, they, they ain't invited me yet, <laughs> but I'm prepared. But I'm going to be I'm there. Ready. <laughs> I'm ready. I'm ready. It's nice outside. So, you know, just let me know. Yeah. But when he sat down, he was like, again, people just looking at us, it kind of makes me feel good. <laughs> but um, he was like, hey, what are y'all talking about? And I was like, um, disconnect. But yeah. we'll, We'll walk you through it. Exactly. And it was because we did that, Milton, because if we talk about what we're going to talk about, then the authenticity of – did I say that right? Authenticity. Authentic. Authentic. I can't. Like, right now, talking is starting to become uh, – <laughs> It's starting to become hard. It's, start, it's, start, it's starting to like, I know what I want to say, but it's uh, authenticity. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. Authenticity. Yeah. Authenticity. Authenticity. <laughs> authenticity. <laughs> 
<laughs> authentic. Yeah, authentic. Some of that authentic. It wouldn't come out authentic. Okay. Yeah, it wouldn't authentic. come out authentic. It wouldn't. Authentic. It wouldn't. It wouldn't be as authentic. Yeah, there we go. Is that good? That's I think good that enough. works. If if it didn't work, y'all tell us. What yeah, wrong please. With Lolo. All right. All right. <laughs> so uh, no, I mean, but that's why we do that because we want to make sure as we connect with each other and as we connect with you guys, we want to make sure that we bring the the best sound, the best voice that we can potentially bring to represent us as a whole because at the end of the day jared melton and myself we're we're just like you we're not doing nothing special yeah um the the thing that i believe that we have a unique opportunity to do is that the thing that we love is the thing that you're you have the desire to either get you either have the desire where you want to get better at what we do great Mm -hmm. or you already do great and you just like how consistent we are he's eating my freaking banana he uh, He got it it. he's eating my banana (laughs) He came back, man. He came He's, back. Oh, he got in there, too. He got in there. These birds are gangster. No, nah, I got to show them. Can I show them? That's, yeah, yeah, yeah. I got to show, show them. They got to see it. Y'all got to see the bird. He's eating my banana, uh, y'all. Oh, uh, no, come on, dog. Come on, dog. You got to show them. Oh, he brought his, his partner. partner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They see it. <laughs> they see it? I'm going to let him have it. <laughs> oh, well. Oh, well. The Mean Green Show. <laughs> the Mean show. Green Show. Nothing's. <laughs> Just so y'all know what we were looking at, I think that that's dope. And. That he brought his partner. He went got his friends. Hey, man, I don't think that's, that's his girl. I think that's his girl. Oh, yeah, that is a, that is a girl bird. Uh, yeah, that's, that's, his, that's his lady. <laughs> Come on. Oh, now now it's getting ridiculous. Y'all can't bring everybody. Look, everybody coming. No, uh-oh, no, uh-oh, no. Uh-oh. We're, we're gonna have to <laughs> Hold on, guys. <laughs> it's like five birds. Hold on. Not Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Wow. Welcome to the Mean Green <laughs> Show. Welcome to the Mean Green Show. Show wow. the camera. Show the camera how they got in. <laughs> oh man. Can't make it up. All right, he's throwing a banana away. But yeah, disconnection. Yeah, disconnect. This is this. I like I like that we like you said we we focused on what is the difference between disconnecting and procrastination. Yeah, you know what I mean. Because um, and it's it was a look in the mirror. Absolutely. For some of the things that I do procrastinate mm-hmm. on, you know, and. A lot of myself, oh, I'm, I'm disconnected, yeah. you know what I mean? So, yeah. And I, I think that's why I made the comment I made, just because, mm-hmm. like, oh, it's not, like, let me look in the mirror for a second. Yeah. When we first thought about this episode, I think we thought about just, you know, obviously we're on the beach, we, yeah. we out here in uh, Cancun, or Mexico, so we're like, oh, let's talk about the importance of, of being able to disconnect. To disconnect yeah. yeah. So now we, we kind of transition that into a look in the mirror, like, yeah, it's important to disconnect, but is it really? Is it really disconnect? Is it really a Because I have, I have been working, like, I've gotten a couple texts that I have to answer, you know. Um, so are you truly completely disconnected? No. Right. Not, not from what we need to handle, the responsibilities that we have, right. but it is important to just stop everything, put it down. Yeah. Put your social media down and give people quality time. Absolutely, you know. But I, the the thing I think about with that is, Chris, you handled what you handled in three minutes, right? I did. You said three minutes, you were able to knock it out. Let's be real. You might have had your phone with you on a toilet, and looked at it. If you if you had put your phone down and didn't do it, as opposed to just picking your phone up, knocking it out in three minutes, coming back out, nothing happened. How would you feel as a person? Mm-hmm. Could you tell yourself, "Oh, I'm disconnected and I'm good," or would it like would it feel bad? Like, I could I could answer that. I could answer that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I right. could answer. How did you know I was on the toilet? I di- I did. Oh my bad. Oh, <laughs> 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 I just said so. You know what? I think are those crab, crab legs? Oh, where? Oh, she taking care wow. of Wow. Oh, she, where? She's she trying to get kept. We trying where to work. Did you get that? Come she try, here. She's trying to get kept. Come here. <laughs> Come here. That's a good way. To, <laughs> that's a good way to get it done. Like, is this for us or Jared? Oh, <laughs> look at this. Where did you find? You gotta that? say hey to the people. Yeah, you kind of gotta say hi that's, now. Where, 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 where? Yeah. You say hey to the people. Wave. You say hey to the say people. Hi. Hey people. <laughs> All right. Well, this is for you, bro. Well, I'm a. Don't let the birds eat it. Yeah, oh, they, they're coming. Bird they're they're coming. already. They're they're scouting. That's fine. That's fine. We're almost done. Go tell Tina I want some food. <laughs> uh, <laughs> we're trying to say she better, he better hurry up. <laughs> we're talking about disconnect. <laughs> yeah. All right, so y'all heard the word. So we'll wrap up with these final statements. Um, you were saying something. I wanted to respond, but them crab legs. <laughs> the oh, good, bro. I didn't even know they had crab legs in Mexico Either. like that. We're by I guess our I've ocean. Never been. We are by our ocean. Yeah. 
<laughs> I'm trying to see it's about, it. it's about to go back. All right, yeah. So, look, guys, uh, I think we were talking about the toilet. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and telling yourself it's okay to not respond to that or just responding to it. You know what? At the end of the day, man, like, it is, I know Tina's been on. I think she actually wants to come back on again. Um, Next series. Find a way. Tina know me. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, honestly, I'm about to be real. I, yeah. I'm going to say it. I'm going to say it. I'm, just say it. Good. I was looking for somebody to pump me up. Say it. <laughs> me completely disconnecting is unhealthy for me. For me. You know what I mean? Like, if I took four or five days and I was completely disconnected mm -hmm. and I got back, and the deal that I just closed yesterday, if I knew three days ago I missed out on an opportunity, yeah, oh, eat, that would eat, eat at me you. up. Eat at that you, That right? me up. Man, like, like, the world is too advanced. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. it's different. Like, 10 years ago, I wouldn't have been able to do that. Yeah. 20 years ago, we didn't even have cell phones, right? Yeah. I think. 2002. We did have cell phones. We did phones. have cell phones. We're getting old. I had okay. a prom call. 30 years ago. Ooh. 30 years ago. <laughs> okay. God, I was like seven years <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. So, 30 years ago, we didn't have a cell phone, right? Okay, 20 years ago, you wouldn't have been able to text on Wi-Fi and just jump yeah. on someone. Okay, yeah, that sounds better, I think. Um, so, being able to have the access to use technology does make life easier. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I do, like I said, with the plastic bags, being able to bring your phone into the water, the, tru the truth of it is yesterday... We got in a pool around 12-ish, and we didn't leave about 7. Mm -hmm. I didn't look at my phone once. That deal happened around 10. Yeah. I got the message. He, he hit me up. I hit him back. He hit me up. I hit him back. I was done. Done. I looked at my phone, I think, when I had to go pee one of the 50th times. I think it was 57. I looked at my phone just to look, but I wasn't on social media. Like, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. I wasn't strolling. I wasn't on Real GM saying what's next or Bleacher Report. Like, uh -uh. I wasn't making, like. You was, you was worried about vacation. I got a text. J Money, where you at? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, man, I, I'm at a good place. H-Town. Yes, sir. He has a John Walker. John, I do. Disconnected. Well, if you, <laughs> you made me think of you made me, Yeah, he's disconnected. How you made me think Walker? of something that's interesting, though. It's like the shift of my mentality versus – like when I was younger mm -hmm. and I was like, you know, when I first started getting into the workforce and all of that, I would work, you know, typical nine to five type job. And when I got home every day, I'm disconnected. I'm on the PlayStation. Absolutely. I'm just finding, you know, I had a lot more idle time. I was finding ways to entertain myself versus my mentality. Now it's so different. Yeah. And I think a lot of people do that on a regular basis. And it's not a knock or anything, but some people, when they get off work, they want to disconnect. They want to go enjoy themselves, watch some TV. You know what I mean? But I like how I just I'm just having a moment how much my mentality has changed since then because right. now like I'm in a, in a state of um, I don't want to disconnect to that extent like I'm always <laughs> working no, that's real. you know what I mean I like it I think some people desire jobs like that though I've actually heard people say I yeah. want I want to work my nine to five at five yeah I and then I'm, I and they're done work. and right. I think sometimes in in relationships just to kind of come full circle with it like when like my wife she does a nine to five so mm -hmm. when she's off. She's ready to yeah. connect. And, but me, mm -hmm. it's like I'm never off. Yeah. I'm still on. So I'm still on even Ooh. when we're together. That's you a know great what I mean? question. We talked about relationships, though. So I kind of yeah. want to tie that back into what we talked about. Like, I think with that, and I'm, I'm sure, I know your wife knows you by now, mm -hmm. but I think it's important to know who you're with. So if you yourself decide, like, I want to work a nine to five at five, I'm done. Mm -hmm. But if you if you dating an entrepreneur that's always go, 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 like, you, you, you got to understand, understand that. that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you gotta, That's tough. You got to make some sacrifices. So do you under, Do you think they understand us doing a podcast right now? They do. They might be a little upset at the time, but it's okay. It's okay. They get it. They get they it. They get it. And do. I think that after this, I think we're about to go have a good time, yeah. and they'll be okay. And oh, we, yeah. we won't <laughs> be procrastinating. We won't be doing – hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on, y'all. With Tina. Hold on. Hold on. That's, come, man. Come on over here, girl. Look at that. Look, come on at over here, girl. That. Look at that. Bring them legs over here, girl. Liz, hey. Look, they got my plate. Y'all are all right. Oh. Thank you. Y'all are all right. Oh. Thank you so much. Mm. Y'all ask why we bring sand to the beach. <laughs> bring sand to the beach. Find some sand. Okay. You can bring me mine. So you can I bring me mine. I'll take are mine. Are those both for Milton? 
That one's for her. <laughs> that one's for Milton. My plate's right next to it. Well, I don't want the birds to get it. Are you about to sit there? You sitting there? Oh, okay. okay now we're okay, good. Okay. Then. Oh, okay, hold on, hold on. Let's, let's talk about this. <laughs> Jared, you got yours? I got mine. You got yours? Yeah. <laughs> Working on the weekend like usual. And you got yours. T- Tina, it's, Tina brought us three drinks. Y'all, okay. So I ain't gonna let him do that. I ain't gonna let him do that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh man. All right. In, in conclusion. In conclusion. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I do want to wrap up uh, this, man. I, I've been able to. Milton, thank you. My Jared, pleasure. Thank you. Absolutely. It's been great to just to have something that's vibrant and that's growing. Mm-hmm. Is 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 always cool. And it's special to me. So I want to thank you guys for taking some time out on your vacation, on your disconnection, to be able to just be transparent with everybody. Um, look at Liz trying to give her sign language. Girl, you need to give him a plate. He talking about you. <laughs> Liz is my homie, dog. I love Liz. Uh-oh. What, what are we looking at? You come tell the camera that. What'd she say? Come tell the camera. What'd she say? She thinks because she, she's been working out, her arms all out. So. Come on. Tina been burning so many calories on my zone. Yeah, she be working hard. I, look, I looked at her my calories all the time. She burned like seven, eight hundred. She be working hard. Here, I'm gonna give her a head punch. She's gonna be like, it's sweaty. Watch this. Yes. Tina, I like them earrings. I like them earrings. Positive feedback. It's time to get off the podcast. Okay. <laughs> okay let's say bye. bye. <laughs> it's time to go. All right, we gonna close it out. We gonna close we're it out for Tina. Out. <laughs> Hey, not, not on camera. <laughs> not on camera. I'm the bootleg version. <laughs> the bootleg version? See, I, I got hooked up. I didn't buy this, y'all. Yeah, this is Fabletics and Express. There we go. You approved my outfit. We matching. Look at this. <laughs> we match it with the drawstring, Chris. <laughs> oh, man. All right. So, in conclusion, we talked about. Um, disconnecting mm-hmm. yeah. and the importance of how we disconnect and why we disconnect and how we do that, yep. right? We related that to our career. We related that to us working out. Yep. But I think for the way that we close this chapter out is how do we disconnect with family and friends? I truly believe that Chris can do a way better job of not disconnecting from family and friends. We yep. use disconnection for the positive, but there are some negatives to disconnecting too. So to Leroy Taco, Carl, Jared Milton, Danny, uh, Rob, I'm just calling names out that I know we're all close with. Mm -hmm. Man, we will do a better job of not disconnecting from you. Yeah. And it's not that we don't want to be there. We use sometimes our career and job, but, man, we can take an evening or a night and sacrifice friendship. No, Absolutely. excuse me, that came out wrong. Sacrifice Work. time for friendship. Yeah. Did I say that right? No, that's good. And um, I think we, because Tina's still here. Yeah, we got to disconnect. We got to really go. We got to disconnect from this thing. <laughs> what you want, boo? My quads out. You like the way these quads look <laughs> on these seven-inch Oh, <laughs> my God. Is that what it is? All right, Sean. I got my, sh- hold on. <laughs> y'all going to make me. Because these two going to keep talking. We appreciate y'all joining us. On the podcast. It's been a great talk. Let us know what y'all took from this down below. Uh, and we're going to close it out. You wanna Any closing comments? Um, you want to put guys. your hand on mine? My... Oh, my God. Closing comments. Closing comments. Can't up. do that on camera. Not this camera. The drink's creeping up. Look. <laughs> <laughs> Thank y'all for having me. No, for sure. Hey, guys. Thank look, y'all for having me. Comment down below on YouTube. It means a lot when you press the uh, thumbs up button. Yep. Yeah. Share this. This episode has been great. Hey, I need some help. As we finish up, down below on YouTube, not the chat section. YouTube. What do you think will be a great topic for us to open up with? Because I think next week, is that that the last episode? This week's last episode. Oh, this is, oh, we got to get on it. it. So what, 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 what is the thing y'all think that people may be like, ooh, we should talk about this or we should talk about that? Yeah. We need some advice. So down below, let us know. And it can be broad because we, you know, we need subtopics off that. Absolutely, something okay, I'm broad. Have to go, uh, I'm big, a, I'm gonna have picture. to go in and comment because I got some ideas. So. Oh yeah, let's go, let's baby, go, baby boy in the building. <laughs> hey, we love you guys, man. I hope you found um, value in what we brought to the table today. Other than that, guys, we love you. We we'll see you next time when you press play. Take care. Oh yeah. Hey. <laughs>